Hey, what's going on guys? Richie Fix here back with another video and today Jada Toys released its, its final Wave 3 images for Cami and DJ. One of the figures is missing and is it time to start checking targets for these shipments of Wave 3 to start coming in? We're going to talk about it all, but before we do 15 subscribers away from 1,000. Guys, I can't thank you enough. We are so close, but yet so far away. If we can get to 1,000, if you've watched any of these videos more than once, I highly would appreciate it if you consider. If not, the like is good enough for me. We have a lot to talk about, so let's waste no more time. Let's go. Taking a look at photo number one, these did go up for pre-order today, so you can catch these currently on pre-order. There are a couple third-party, like, foreign sites you can catch them on, but the main ones were Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store. No Amazon, unfortunately, but they have hit the major online toy retailers, at least the well-known ones in Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store, but Cami looks great. Um, final product, I'm looking, I'm liking everything I see. I like the effect. Uh, we This first time I've actually seen the effect in plastic form, so that's pretty cool. She is going to get her extra set of hands, and then you can even see them using the articulation in the braids to prop up her uh, screaming head sculpt in the bottom left-hand corner there. Everything is looking awesome to me. It really turned out nice, well worth the wait. Let's see what else we got. Taking a look at the next photo here, there are more pre-order images, so if you want to see any of the other ones, I did leave out a few just because... There were a lot that I just didn't have comments on all of them, but did want to comment on a few of them. This one right here in her action pose, really showing off some articulation as we've come to love and enjoy and really admire in the line. The articulation looks phenomenal. The screaming head sculpt looks great. And I really like this little kick effect that's going on here. It's different. I like that there's no... No reuse. Never any reuse with Jada. You gotta love that. They give us different effect pieces every time, and they always look very, very nice. You can see the articulation in the braid, and it, it just all came together really well for Cammy. Her eyes look great. That was a big concern. $24.99 right now. Price hasn't changed. Another win for me, and this is uh, definitely probably one of the big pre-sellers so far. All right, guys, taking a look at the next photo. Nice. One of the main things that always gets brought up with Cami, because her outfit is somewhat controversial, depending on who you ask, it's not controversial with me at all, but did they go PC on Cami? I safe to say it doesn't look like they did. Now, did they go full on like G-string thong? No, but let's just say it leaves little room to the imagination with this outfit. And I'm far, like I said, this is not really like a traditional kids line. I don't think they're targeting kids with this action figure line and i would say most people are kind of happy with the happy medium that they got here lots of cheekage full a lot of cheekage for you cheekage folk out there that like cheekage on their action figures me and I, if they had gone full coverage it wouldn't really bothered me that bad but is it true to the source material i don't know i can't remember if they went true on thong in the source material but this is good enough for me where it's like okay i can order this and not you know, I can I can explain it to the misses and uh, not feel too bad about it. And uh, I feel like this is good happy medium to kind of satisfy everybody. And uh, I think it turned out great. And, well, that's really enough that I'm going to comment on this, this photo right here. But well done, Jada. Well done. Wrapping up with the last photo here. Like I said, there are other photos that I didn't cover. I just wanted a couple, you know, I don't have everything to say about every single photo, but did want to cover, you know, some of the ones that really caught my eye. This one really just took in the essence of Cami and really everything we've been waiting for. I think it looks great. She's kind of doing like that duck lips face with this head sculpt here that most girls make on their Instagram when they're taking a selfie and stuff like that. But, you know, I like this Cami figure a lot. I actually think she's going to sell well above the DJ figure. And, uh, you know, is she going to be the popular, the most popular one out of Wave 3? We'll have to see. Um, but absolutely love this figure. It turned out great and was worth the wait. I guess taking a look at our first pre-order picture of DJ with all his goodies. He's got that nice new flame effect. Like I said, no reuse with any of the effects with these characters. You gotta love that with the Jada line, especially being a new company. I mean, they could definitely go conservative and cheap and reuse some of these effects and just give them different colors and things, but they don't. That's the one thing I think really captures 
the fandom from other toy lines and people you know flocking to this line is that there's not a lot of reuse in fact every sculpt from every character is its own original sculpt there is no reuse i know i say a lot of times that ken and ryu are one and the same it's not true. There is tattered uh, gi with Ken, and there's, you know, obviously the head sculpts are different, but that's probably the closest one to any type of reuse out of any of them, but that even there, it's not 100% reuse. But right here, I like the way this turned out. This really is kind of like a the Fei Long of a bulkier type where it's just a guy standing shirtless. He does have wristbands, and then he does get some articulation in his braids as well. He does get that uh, real chain necklace, which is a nice eye for detail there he gets his thumbs up he gets his pointer finger the effect i think this figure will actually be a sleeper as i think this will be great just pocket fodder just a fun figure to mess with as he's just gonna have enough essence and charisma to really capture your eye on the shelf and i'm excited for i mean i'm excited for all of them but i think this one's gonna go a little underrated and a little slept on and it's gonna really surprise people it's gonna be awesome next photo here just a photo of him showing off his articulation as he's got that pointer finger on we're using the uh, bendy wire braids i like that and then just his screaming head sculpt i really like the face on the screaming head sculpt it's not really so much as like a bat it's like a battle face but he's having fun at the same time which really is the attitude of dj he's kind of like a party guy but don't worry, he'll kick your ass if you want him to, but I, yeah, I love the gloves too, just everything on this figure really turned out great, the, the sculpt on the arms looks great with all the muscle texture, I, and like I said, I think it won't sell as well as Cammy or Guile, but man, is he gonna be a sleeper, and he's gonna pop on a shelf. The last photo here with DJ, like I said, DJ's kind of just a simple character. While this is the first time we've ever gotten a DJ figure, there's just not a whole lot to him. It's a guy with baggy pants on, and he's got the articulated braids in the chain, but I do think this figure is awesome, and then I use this one just simply to show off his effect piece. It looks awesome. Like, I love that effect piece. That turned out really nice, and like I said, just really complimentary to the figure. I am actually really excited for this figure. While it's not, like I said, it's a character that I have absolutely no nostalgia feeling for whatsoever. I don't know that I ever used DJ, but regardless that's what's so cool about this line characters i never even used the figures are so nice it is me it is giving me a later on fandom for the actual character and wants me to look back and do some more research on itself i absolutely love the way this whole figure turned out now let's talk about the missing character what's going on we got cammy we got dj in the pre-orders but one was missing and unfortunately i think it was the one that most people are excited for i could think a good light hand of people might be excited more for Cammy than Guile, but I would think a lot of people probably have the order on the characters they're most excited for to least would probably be Guile, Cammy, DJ. And uh, there was no Guile. I don't know what happened there. You would think they would release the whole wave as a whole, but then again, that's never really been their style either. But man, I was really hoping to see Guile, and uh, yeah, he just wasn't there. So I don't know. I, you know, they very well could just drop the pre order tomorrow. For him, um, I'm sure he's not far behind by any means. Uh, it wouldn't make a lot of sense that, you know, production was just smooth sailing for Cammy and DJ and not Guile. In fact, you could argue Cammy probably had the most tweaks out of all the figures we've seen throughout the stages that she looked a little bit different the most where Guile seemed really consistent, but I don't know what's going on there. Um, I hope it's not anything super serious, but... Uh, you know, I'm sure, like I said, I'm not too worried about it. I'm sure he's right down the pike just like the other ones. But one thing that was interesting, if you look at the pre-order release dates on Big Bad Toy Stores, it says July 2025. When I saw that, because that was the free first pre-order link that went up, I was like, what the hell just happened? Why does it say that? But then you go to Entertainment Earth site, and it says October 2024. So, I'm going to go with Entertainment Earth. I do not think these are being pushed out to next year, but am curious to see what's going on with Guile. Now, I can wait on Guile because, you know, he's the guy. You know, he's probably, out of all the figures, out of all the roster, he's the one that I, he would probably be in the top three for one of my favorite characters out of the whole entire roster. Just because he's got the comb, he's got the sonic boom. He's got the flat top. It just the bulk and the way that I saw some of the final images of Guile just looks so good. Like Storm 
collectibles quality good like that good i thought it was amazing um and the real chain necklace and everything they really did a number on guile where he is i don't know but he was missing from wave three and he was included as one of the characters for wave three so we wait on guile now with that said and we get pre-orders guys i'm gonna tell you right now i wouldn't be shocked and like i said we're still in september early september if we don't see cammy and dj at least start showing up at target within the next couple weeks at the very latest i'm gonna say mid-october but i still my prediction was not mid-october i said september and we are still on track for that it wouldn't be outrageous to ask a target employee for the up yeah i'll put the upc on the screen because they do not have their each individual upc per character it's just jada as a total go ahead and ask them they can see future deliveries wouldn't be crazy to go up to one of them and say hey do you have a new shipment of jada coming in anytime soon they could take a look and then we'll let you know if anything is coming up i always do that um I, especially when i see other collectors start to see the new wave come in i'm calling every target i'm going to every target asking when their next shipment's going to come in so i know because that next shipment is going to be wave three and uh you want to be there because these if you know i mean these for getting the wave through the new wave as soon as it hits the target shelves is very very hard for the first few weeks that it comes out like it took i think of people a lot like I saw people say, I found this one, but you'll miss them. If you're not there right when they come off the truck, I mean, the first person that sees them is gonna and knows what they are is going to scoop them up. So it's just very, very hard to get the Target ones on their initial release when they first come out because they're such a hot item, they don't stay on the shelves. So um, it wouldn't be outrageous. Like I said, you should be seeing the UPC on the screen. If somehow I forget in post-editing to put it on, I will at least put it in the description down below. Again, it is not by individual character. It is just by Jada line itself. So you can just say, hey, do you have any future deliveries for this UPC that you show in your system? And they should let you know. Uh, most employees, if you're cool with them, they'll be cool with you and happy to help you there. But other than that, guys, that's really all we have for the video today. We finally get some pre-order links for Wave 3 or most of Wave 3. We wait on Guile. I hope he's not too far down the line, but I don't mind waiting for my boy Guile. It's just, it's a hard wait. It's a hard wait for sure. But when he gets ready, oh man, like I said, I might have to get three of Guile because I think he is going to sell out a lot and then... Yeah, he's just it's going to be a, an awesome and highly desired figure. So other than that, guys, I hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, we are so close to 1,000. If you consider subscribing, I'd appreciate it. If not, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. Richie Figs, later. Uh -huh.